Hi, Pat Battle here from Living Web Farms in the next installment of our Resilience Daily series that we're doing in collaboration with the Organic Grower School. And we're just going to do a quick check-in on some plants that earlier in the season you saw us divide, pot up, and get ready to move from our um, Kimsey Road site to our north farm. And we moved them out here because they're farmscaping plants. Well, one of them actually isn't, but the other, other two are. Um, so we have here lavender, and this lavender is already doing the important work of nurturing beneficial insects because we have a ladybug pupa that has decided to do its time of rest before it comes out as a beetle, adult beetle, on our lavender. This lavender here is about to flower, which means we're very lucky to get it to root because usually when they're about to flower, it's harder to get them to root. I didn't disturb the two lavenders. I figured later on if I want to take one away, I will. But right now, since I wanted to get it out and get it growing quickly, I left the two together. Um, I can come back later in the season and take a trowel and just carefully dig that one off. Maybe if it's a dry time, pot it up for a week or two till it's reestablished and then move it someplace else. Next to this, we have our clary sage, which I'm thrilled to have here in, in bloom. Clary sage is special to me for a few reasons. I love the blooms. I think they're really gorgeous. And so do the beneficial insects. It's a wonderful insectiary. And it specifically provides sustenance and arborage to a wasp that is critical for controlling the corn borer, which is also the pepper borer. Um, and this wasp is real important if you're looking to get control of that naturally. So once again both of these were dug on the same day. You can go back and see that video. Separated from their parents. Um, well this actually was done by a cutting and this was dug and separated. And then here is sorrel, another one we divided. French sorrel. And not particularly a beneficial insect plant but great to have some everywhere so anybody who's out on the farm picking dinner can grab a handful of, so handful of sorrel to make a fish sauce or make a soup or something like that. Um, and we just once again divided it, let it get reestablished, and here it is thriving. We did all this in April, and now in June we have these plants out and growing. All right, that's the report on our propagation efforts, and remember to check us out on Instagram at Living Web Farms.